Welcome back to another episode of my Trailblazer League series. In the last episode, we went from rank 26 to 15 on the leaderboard. And today, we have an even bigger goal. We want to get ourselves into the top 10. Let's get into it. Final chewed bone, putting us to 67 KC. Clearly, I just don't know how to do mass, to be honest, but still no still no dragon full home. This is not going great, uh, but it is what it is. We got some mithril grapples and rune vaults, I guess. There's a lucky impling. I need to get to it. I need to get to it before anyone else does. Bro. No way. I need to get to this lucky impling. I need to get to it. Come to me. Come to me. Please. Oh my fucking god. That guy sees it too. He's gonna get it. Oh, he's not even going for it. He's just wished me good luck, dude. TY, bro. TY, bro. Oh my god, thank you. Shout out to this guy, dude. He just entangled it for me. Thank you so much. I don't even know this guy. But big shout out to A to Zia. I just saw a lucky impling and I started panicking because I thought he was going to steal it from me. But little did I know, I guess he's not 99 Hunter and he just entangled it to me. Shout out to you so much, man. Big fucking respect, bro. Big fucking respect. And that's a Guthix cloak from it as well. I don't know if you guys caught that, but I actually did try and catch it once with my butterfly net on and I didn't catch it. Thank God, I wouldn't have got the 250 points. Shout out to that guy for letting me know I had to take my net off. I was just, I was so like blindsided by the fact it was there, I wasn't even thinking. And while I was stacking and collecting from for my mediums, I also saw another lucky impling. And this one, I told Maz to get his ass here and to get his 250 points from it. Okay, so I've spent probably the past, I want to say, seven hours building all the medium stash units getting 1,500 jars from Implinks just by running around catching a bunch of jars and then trading it in with the one guy to get even more jars. And now I'm just cashing them in by sitting in a spot and clicking Eclectics. Obviously got my lucky Impling here very luckily. And I also got Maz's lucky Impling as well. I saw it and I told him to come over because you know we both need that 250 points. It's huge for us. So yeah, I now have 1,357 Eclectics, a little less than 1.5k, granted. It is 1 in 25 for a medium clue scroll from an Eclectic. And I need to fill, I think the task is 40 collection log slots, as well as all the other tasks that come with it. And it should be around over 500 points in total from completing it. And maybe over 600 points if I manage to pull the Rangers. Not sure how, you know, likely that is because it is kind of rare to get. There are a bunch of points waiting for me in these Impling Jars and as well in this clue scroll. I think it is like a 1 in 25 drop rate, so I don't know what my math is here. Maybe that's like 50 medium clues. Obviously, I'll have to drop quite a few too if I can't do the step, but we're going to go and try and get it done. Okay, so this is actually one of the medium clues that I need to go do biohazard for. It is my second step of the clue, I'm pretty sure, and I have to go do biohazard. I was going to do it eventually. I knew I'd, I'd get it eventually. I just wanted to complete some without having to do it, but I might as well just get it done now that I've got it. So on to biohazard we go. Okay, and that is Biohazard done. Doesn't really give us any- I guess it gives us quest points. We still haven't done the Tears of Guthix thing because I suck at it. But I can now go to the combat training camp or whatever, so let's get carry on with the clues. Okay, we're about 25 caskets in and we've just got the message for our 6 hour log that we're going to be logged out in eventually- in approximately 5 minutes. Always great to see while we're gaming. Okay, we only have 300 Eclectics left and we used about 900 of them to get these 30 caskets. I don't know why I have an elite clue scroll in my thingy, but I want to open up these 30 just to see how much progression I make on this collection log and see if I get any tasks completed with it. If we take a look at my medium collection log, I've already got two of the uniques. I don't even know what they are. I guess I got the Ancient Miter. I got the Guthix Cloak from that Lunk Lucky Impling and I don't know what, they, what I got the Ancient Miter from, but there is a lot of stuff for us to get. There's 115 uniques. I'm hoping we can cross some of these off. Let's get opening. Okay, that seems like two uniques right off the bat. That seems like another two uniques. Oh my god, I've just gained 10 unique- or no, Oh, I just did two things. I did fill five medium clue collection log slots and gain 10 unique items from medium clues. So that's 100 points in total. Those are 250 point tasks. Nice. Um, Wolf Mask, Green Dia Body Trimmed, and a War Blessing. Penguin Mask, Armored Old Miter. These seem all the uniques. Ancient Miter already have. Okay, nothing is there. That's too good. Those are three uniques right there. Shazen Banner, Mithril Plate Skirt, Purple Elegance. Okay, I think I'm. I think this is going quite well. I'm not gonna lie. 
Okay, so we've opened nine. How many are we at? We're, we are at 18 out of 115 already. Holy shit. Okay, that's gained 25 unique items from a medium clue. That's 100 points right there. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I'm not opposed to this at all. And that is fill 20 medium collection log slots, which is another 100 points. Holy shit. I think the final one is to fill 40, so I doubt we're going to get that done. We just got a master clue scroll. Damn. A lot of people commented on my last video saying that I dropped uh, the Master Clue Scroll. I actually did check it first and I couldn't do it. Just like this one I can't do because I can't enter the Myth Guild, obviously. We've got 16 more to do and we have 17 to obtain. So probably not going to happen, but we'll see. Okay, open. I think we've already got that. Armadal Miter. Uh, Armadal Crozier, whatever that is. Gold Elegant Blouse. Um, Nothing from that. Sara Doman Cloak. That's really nice. Okay, we need to bank some of this shit. Okay, 10 more caskets to open. We are at 29 out of 115. If we can get 10 unique items or 11 unique items from this, we're done. But I doubt it. Ancient Blessing, I don't think we've gone that yet. Sardom in page 4. And a lot of power. Adamant Plate Body H4, I think we've already got. Ancient Blessing, we've probably already got. Another Master Clue Scroll. Nice, let's see if we can do that one. Um, Clue Scroll Master. Oh, uh, nope, this Wilderness can't do that either. Final one. Red Boater. Okay, how many are we at? We are at 36 out of 115. I'm pretty sure it is 36. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is, what's it called? I'm pretty sure it is, what am I trying to say here? That it is 40? It could be 45 though. Oh no, it's 40. Okay, so I think we can do this in the Eclectics we have left. Really nice. Okay, I'm going to open the caskets as I get them now because obviously I only have four more items to go to complete the task. And I think that is a new unique, if I'm not mistaken, putting me up to 37. Yep, so we're just going to do them as we get them. Okay, another casket. Black Elegant Shirt, is that new? It is new, only two more to go now. Okay, another casket. Um, I think we have both of those, to be honest. I don't think we went up anything with that, but I'm not sure. Yep. Alrighty, another casket. Uh, Bandos Page 2, is that new? Nope, damn it, bro. We always have this curse. Alright, another casket. Bandos Stole. I think that might be new. I don't think I've seen it before. Yep, 39 out of 150 and one more unique to go. And we have 250 more points. Another casket, could this be it? Ranger Boots, please? Nope. And that's not a unique from what I can see because we're still at 39. Okay, another casket here. Oh, damn, that's three uniques in one thing. Wait, do I have them? Oh, no, I do not have them. I was complaining over nothing. And that puts me over 61,000 points for the first time. 250 points earned off that. When I started today's video, I was ranked 18 or 19 because I slept. But all the uh, points we've got, literally just top mediums, has put me back up to rank 15 with 61,120 points. Not gonna complain with that at all. So something I've been working on since the start of leagues, this is something that's taken me a month, is 1,500, well I have to get 2,000, but for now I've gone 1,500, 1,500? Is that the correct term or is it 15,000? No, it's 1,500. 1,500 Apatol Agility laps, and there was a 50 point task and a 100 point task for the other laps that we got, but there is a 250 point task to get 1,500 laps and transform my monkey. At 2,000 laps, I can transform it again for 5,000, uh, for 500 points. I I don't know what's going on with me. I'm, I'm a little bit delusional. I'm not going to lie. Um, let's find it. Monkey. Where is it at? Where's my monkey? Did I lose my monkey? Oh, it's right there. It's the skeleton monkey. I'm so stupid. Okay, transform this into Croc Jr. And if I wear that, that is 250 points in Elite Toss, putting me up to 61,370. I've been working on this for a month because whenever, like, I don't know, there's no way I'm doing 2,000 laps at once, right? So I've been chipping it away at it slowly but surely, and in another 500 laps, we get another 500 points. I don't know if a lot of people have started working on this yet at all, so these are a lot, like, I'm ahead quite a bit in that regard if people haven't been. Very nice. Now, after Hopping Worlds, I'm rank 14 on the leaderboards, Maz is rank 13, and we both have the same amount of points, which is actually pretty nice for the both of us. Late Caskets. And I got Ranger Tights. What even are those? And I got 37 Summer Pies too. Oh, and I just got a medium toss done. Fill three Elite Clue Collection Log Slots. Wow, a real tongue twister there. 61,420. That puts me to rank 13 very temporarily. Maz is about to finish 500 Sire Casey and is going to jump right above me. But there we go. Just a quick reminder, if you guys are enjoying the videos, the best way to support me is by subscribing to the channel if you already aren't. This also means you guys never miss a future upload as I'm going to be uploading through to the rest of the Trailblazer League. And if you guys want to go one step further, feel free to drop a like on the video. So I want to do some Theater of Blood as it's something I need to complete eventually and 100 kill count was 250 points and I wasn't too far off of that. All of the drops I got, if they were unique, were 250 points as well as the Justice R set being 500 points. So it was really good. I have pretty much max gear for this, so our trips do, or our trips, our raids do go really quickly. And just look how quick this bloat went down.
44 seconds. Molten Glass and Adior, we take those. Got ourselves some Potato Cactus, whereas Loki got himself a Scythe! Yo! Let's go! Grats! We both died because I was tanking and I fucked us up, but he just got a Scythe. 1k death runes, okay. Okay, it's top KC number 88. Our last purple is that Avernic. Can we get something? Uh, there's a purple, and it's my name! It's in my name. Okay, anything but us, anything that gives me points, to be honest, I'll be happy with. The Sanguini would be the best. Come on. Oh, another Avernic. Damn, it's alright. It is what it is. 89. 351 gold ore, though. We take those. Alright, I think this is KC90. 10 more, and we get 250 points, but obviously I'm hoping for some drops before that. Any purples? Nope, unfortunately not. I'm a purple for Marzi, let's see what he gets. Sanguinesti stuff, I don't think he has that yet. Big grats, man. Grats, grats, grats. Alright, so a 50 point toss that I haven't yet done is the make 100 jugs of wine. So I'm gonna do that now. That's probably something people did pre-15k points. But, I don't know, I've just been leaving it forever. And I guess the 50 points kind of matters now, so I'm gonna get it done. Let's do it. Okay, and that is the medium task. Ferment 100 jugs of wine, putting me up to 61,000. 470 points some of the medium tasks that I really just haven't done yet I haven't done the mithril gloves even the enriched bones stuff like that So yeah, I left a lot of stuff till late and it gives me some nice points now All right a little break from tall ball I don't have a team we hit up the myth dragons again and got ourselves some more chewed bones these 250 points We have to get I really hate myth dragons, but it's something we've got to do We've got some more bones and the drop rate is 1 in 82 I am really expecting to get it like in this session, so I hope I do Okay, first inventory to 80 kill count. Like I said, 82 kill, or 82, I don't know if this is a kill count because I'm laying people to rest. I guess it's not a kill count, it's a rest count. But yeah, 80 of the fuckers and still no full helm. I'm running back to the bank because we have some more to do. All right, we have eight more bones to use. I don't know if this is gonna go well, but it's gonna get us to 88 rest count. Okay, and this is my final chewed bone getting me to 88 rest count. Let's get the full helm now. Nope, uh, nope, rest in peace. Alright, that's Hand in the Sand done, which allows me to buy a hella blood runes from the store. Okay, even though I've got all the drops from Grotesque, there's still 250 point toss to get 250 kills. Now, I really don't want to do this, but it makes sense to do. It's only a hundred and something more from what I've got, and it's like a quick 250 Well, it's a fairly reasonably quick 250 points, so let's get started. Alright, I just got Granite Gloves. I don't think I've gotten them before. I don't know what they do or if they're rare or anything, but cool, I guess. That's another granite ring on 215kc. I also got another pair of gloves earlier. Uh, 35 more kills if my math is correct for another 250 points. Alright, can't do that elite clue scroll on the floor, but that is our current slayer task completed and we're at kill count 225, so literally we just need to get another task, 25 more kills, and we'll have ourselves 250 more points. Okay, and this is going to be my 250th grotesque kill. Never have to come back here, which I'm actually very thankful for. I did not want to go dry for the drops because the boss itself is easy. It just takes a while. It's like, I don't know, a two minute kill max, maybe a minute 40 if I'm quick with it. I didn't figure out what the best setup was. I just went with this and it was pretty nice. The scythe made it a lot easier for the melee phase, not going to lie. But yeah, that is 250 grotesque guardians killed, giving us 250 points. Don't have to come back here because we got the guardian boots and the ring already. That puts us up to 61,720. I think that puts us back to rank 15. The ranks are getting pretty competitive right now, but I still have a lot to do, so I still think I can break top 10 in this video. And look at all the cash in my inventory and all the loot on the floor. Instances are kind of sick, not gonna lie. Okay, and that is 250 points for completing the Theater of Blood 100 times. Any purple? Sad scam game. All right, but that's 250 points putting me up to 61,970. Now that only gets me my rank 15 back again. It's really getting competitive out here, but nice. Thank God, bro. I got the 100 tiers of Gothics. Thank God. I just got it now, bro. I've been stressing it like I'm inside, bro. I haven't said shit in a minute. It's taken me four fucking weeks to do this, bro. Okay, I'm going to go cash in my Lumberage Diary after this because I kind of forgot to do that, but I have 20 more chewed bones to do. That's right. We're back on the hunt for the Dragonfall Helm. Ah, uh, I think this will take us our kill count to over 100, so... We, we better get it, like, I don't know what's going on here, but let's construct some pyrocytes and see what we get. Ithril grapples. And apparently I don't know how to do math, because I didn't bring enough logs for this. Okay, eight more bones to go. And this is my last chewed bone, putting me to 180, 180? 108 rest count. With no dragon full home. Interesting. Oh, what? Dude! Okay, you can't make this shit up, bro. Final bone, dragon full home, life's fucking good. We take those, bro. We absolutely take this. I can't believe that actually worked. Completed about the final one. Let's go. Wear that. Equip a dragon full home. That puts us on to 62,220 points. 
taking us over the 62,000 mark for the first time in the league. That's hilarious. Let's go. Okay, so I've been doing smoke devils because it's probably the most AFK way to get hard and elite clues because I can just tag all of them in the boss, put on my rapier, auto retaliate on, and I get hit by all of them. Just got a hard and elite clue right there, but I also just got myself the eternal gem. Oh my god, that is massive. What the fuck? Anyway, um, I haven't I haven't got an eternal gem yet, and I haven't had an eternal slayer ring yet, so that's pretty cool to get. And wow, that is a big gem. So clue step I was hoping to avoid entirely, split bark legs. I have to go do Shades of Morton. Okay, the good part is there's a 50 point task of killing a fire shade that I did have to get out of the way eventually, and I've just gotten it now. This is actually not as like terrible as I expect, so hopefully we can get our split bark legs quickly. Okay, we already got a couple keys stacked up, so let's just start opening them. I don't think it matters which key I open, right? Um, no, it does not. I didn't realize fire shades attack you in here. But yeah, it's a 1 in 9 drop rate to get the fine cloths or whatever, and I need 7 of them in total. So not very likely I get them all in what I have, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, that's one piece of fine cloth so far. I've only got a couple more left. Okay, that's a second piece of fine cloth. Nice. Okay, so it looks like it's just the two pieces. and Yeah, only the two pieces, so I guess we got to do this more. I'm probably just going to stop once I get the legs, and then once I need to get the body, I'll come back for that. I just got an amulet of the damned. It's pretty useless. Uh, I'd rather have a piece of fine cloth, but I guess that's cool regardless. Skill specs would be happy with that one. Another amulet of the damned. I just need one more fine cloth for the split park legs, bro. And it doesn't look like it's going to give it to me. Oh god, I only have two more keys, bro. One piece of fine cloth. That's all I want, bro. Last one. Jesus Christ, I'm angry. Okay, third piece of fine cloth. Nice, okay, I can finally make my split bar legs. Another thing is, I also have to go get another pair of D shoes for the top, for the elite clue scroll I have, or the hard clue scroll I have. I can't remember because I've only got prims and the task requires me to have D shoes. Okay, split bark legs acquired, nice. All right, I got my D shoes. Two hours to do one step of an elite clue. Let's go do it. Okay, and this is the Lumbridge hard diary completed. Probably should have done this pre-maxing, but I'm very bad at Tears of Gothics. I'm not sure what I want to use my XP lamp on yet because I'm already maxed and I don't know what is going to be the most difficult skill to get to 25 mil yet. So I'm not going to cash it in. I'm going to wait, you know, I'm going to be patient and decide what to do. But as 100 points, putting me up to 62,370. Okay, so I can't actually bank my lamp, so I'm deciding what to do. And I think I save more time using this on 700k prey XP than I would using it on the runecrafting XP, because runecrafting goes pretty quick anyway. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I use. Smithing is kind of zero time from now on. Herbler as well, crafting as well. I think I'm just going to use it on prayer and get myself 25 mil prayer right now. I think that might be the move, not going to lie. And that is 25 mil prayer points. 25 mil prayer points, 25 mil prayer XP obtained, putting me up to 62,620 points. Now we're flying. As for this antique lamp, I guess I'll, I'll just put in smithing. It's not that really big a deal and it'll help me out a little bit. It's 240k XP. Okay, I've managed to stack up 11 hard caskets and five elite caskets. We're gonna do the hard first and then the elite. There's a lot of tasks for this and this is what our log is looking like so far. If you're wondering, we've done two elite clues for three unique items, which are the pirate hat, ranger tights and musketeer pants, which are great. And we've done six hard clues for only five. So we'll see how this goes. I'm not, I can't remember exactly what every uh, task is, but let's just open these and see what we get. Um, that's not any uniques. Those are two uniques, but I think I might already have a Gothic's page. Bandos chaps and a master clue scroll. We'll see if we can do that in a second. Oh my god. Okay, that's gained 20 uniques from hard clues. We didn't even open that many. We got 100 points. Nice. Master. Wow. It's actually a master clue we can do. Okay, I'm going to drop it while we pick up the rest just in case we get any more. Red dehyde chaps G. Uh, got this DI body war blessing. Nice. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, we just filled 15 hard collection log slots too. This is kind of dope, not gonna lie. Room plate skirt, Sardom and Crozier. I think we're getting close to a full vestment set, not gonna lie. This is a lot of shit I need to bank though, so I probably should have gotten a clear bank before doing this, not gonna lie. Oh well. Okay, so that's the 11 hard clues we've gotten open. That puts us up to 62,820 points. If we have a look now, we've got obtained 18 uniques from 16 hard clues, and I guess we've got some duplicates in there, which is pretty nice. We've got five elite caskets to do and a master clue we can actually do one step of. We haven't done a single step of this yet, I don't think. Just going to get a clear inventory before we open these caskets. Okay, five elite caskets to open. Let's see what we get. Oh my god, Dragon May, Samurai page three, Bandos page one, and some other stuff. Uh, Dragon Scimitar Ornament Kit? 
That's kind of, that's amazing. Well, it's not, I don't think that is, like, gives me any sort of unique, but a golden D skim is kind of cool. And that is 100 points for gaining 10 unique items from Elite Clues. We take those. Open another one. Armored page one. And final one for now, Afro. And I think that's it. Let's see what our log is saying for Elite Clues. We're at seven Elite Clues completed, five out of 98 obtained, but we've already got... 10 unique items. Master clues are incredibly hard to do because of all the region locks and content locks, but I've actually just gotten my first step ever done. And can I do the second one? I think I can actually. Oh my god, we're onto something here. Another step to complete. Well, I gotta do this puzzle, but what the fuck is this? Okay, good thing we've got client scape to figure it out for us. Okay, second step completed. Can we do the third? No, good fight. Okay, so this elite clue requires me to start Troll Romance and get a sled. Now, I think I can do this with the regions I have, so we're gonna go ahead and get started on it. Oh, slide slope, let's go. I don't actually have to complete the quest, I guess. I can just stop it, because I just wanted to do this part of the clue. I don't give a shit about doing this quest, frankly. Dig, and that is another clue step completed. And I can't even do this one. I've got an elite clue that requires a lava battle staff. Now, they actually added a global task which didn't exist before. So, this is 50 points for just wielding a lava battle staff that I couldn't have gone before. So, I'm always happy with free points. That's a 50 point task, medium point task, medium task there done, putting me up to 62,970. 30 off 63k. Okay, I've got a clue that requires me to go get rune boots as well as a mystic fire staff. So, that is a little bit of time. So, I thought I'd just open these caskets we have now. We have four hard caskets and two elite caskets. Don't know if this gets us any points, but I hope it does. Oh, that's the rune helm that we need for an elite clue. That's nice. Uh, got this bracers, armadillo chaps. Oh my god, that's a bunch of stuff. Bandos full helm, I think, is the only unique though. And that's that. No task from that, unfortunately. Elite Zamorak, page one. Master clue. And nothing else from that either. Oh, I got a Mythal Dragon Mask. Cool. Let's see what our collection log is saying as well. Clues, Elite. Okay, so we still only got six of these out of nine. And we've got 22. So if we get three more uniques, I think that's some points right there. Master Clue, can we do it? We cannot. All right, another hard cost kit for a Sardom on page three. That was the only unique we got from that. Damn. Nice, we got our Rune Boots finally. I think we also need to go get ourselves a Mystic Fire stuff, which we need to do a quest for. Okay, and this is Scorpion Catcher done, which should allow me to make a Fire Battle Staff into a Mystic Fire Staff, which will allow me to do the next part of this clue. Okay, another Elite Casket, and the only one... I got the Yuri's Hat, which is cool, but it's only one... What's it called? Only one unique. Okay, another Hard Casket, and that is Bandos Dehyde Boots, Navy Cavalier. Oh my god, that's like four items, I think, right there. Nice. Still no new toss, though, yet. All right, I got myself another Elite Casket here. And it only gave me one unique, bro. The elites don't go too hard, not gonna lie. Collection log, elite clue scroll. I've opened 11, only got seven of the things, and I don't even have dupes. All right, another hard casket, and that is gaining fi I got that bef I got that first? Yeah, okay, that does make sense, actually. Gain 50 unique items from hard clues. Z Ancient plate body, Zamorak plate skirt, and I guess the blue fire lighters? I don't know if that's a unique or not, to be honest. But that puts me up to 63,220. Now, if I go to my hard log, yes, I just said hard log. I am 20, or I'm two different uniques away from another 250 points. That's nice. Hopefully, we can get that done soon. Okay, another hard casket. Zamorak Dehead Body and a Sardoan Full Home. And that is fill 30 hard clue collection log slots, which gives me 250 points, putting me up to 63,470 points. Now, let's hop worlds. I want to have a look at this leaderboard. See if we are top 10 yet. Let's just have a little geese real quick. League points, I am rank 11. I am around 430 points off rank 10. No, 430, what am I saying? 230 points off rank 10 right now, rank 11. Let's see if we can get there. Okay, look how many of these bones I have. I'm gonna give them all to him. This is all from the hill giant cry. Oh my God, two mil construction XP off the bat. Just off giving off all the long and curved bones from that hill giant guy we have. We're going to work on 25 mil construction now, which is 10 mil off for 250 points. If we can get it in time, this gets us rank 10. And that, my friends, is 25 mil construction. Now I'm hitting the fastest log out of my life so that I can log back in. That 25 mil construction officially gets me rank 10 on the League Points leaderboards. And at rank 10, I have knocked down GL I'm Tom to rank 11. In the competitive spirit, I'm now changing my name to GL I am Dit. 
Now, I may fall down rank 10 uh, and fall a couple ranks as I sleep here or there, but I think I'm in a really good position to keep climbing the ranks from here on out. There's still a lot of easy tasks I can get done throughout the next like couple days, and I'm going to be trying to climb into that top 5 position. Eventually, I will be going for rank 1, but we'll see how it goes when we get there. That's still a couple thousand points off, but for now, we're in the top 10.